Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I would like to review a business process that requires to generate one license plate label for each pick line in outbound work. That is quite useful if, for example, you combine multiple sales orders to be picked in a single wave. As a result, you will have one work ID with multiple pick lines and then one put line. And we want to generate one label for each pick line. So how would we generate one license plate label for each pick line in our outbound wave? Let's review the configurations. The first one, we'll navigate to parameters. Under license plate, we will check this option right there. Use label layouts for license plate labels. What that will do is we'll replace the document routing layouts configured right here with label layouts that we configure right there. So it would allow us to use different templates when we generate license plate labels. In a second step, we'll create a label layout data source. In here, we have one that is called test. Label layout type is license plate label. And if we click on edit query, first I'll show you the joins. So I join my license plate label table with work table and the work table with work line tables. So that would allow me to pull information from work lines such as work quantity, item, and even an order number. And in the second one, I have created a filter here to filter work lines that have a work type of pick because my outbound wave will have multiple pick lines and then a single put line. I want to generate one label for each pick line, hence this filter right here. Then I will use this data source in my label layout. <clears throat> Navigate right here. Change the filter here to license plate. And you see that I have created a label layout called LP test. It has this test data source connected. This enable label template support is set to yes. That would allow us to create more advanced label layouts that include header lines and footer information. And as soon as you connect that data source, the tables that were connected to it will show up on the left hand side. So you can add different fields from each of those three tables by selecting it here and then scrolling and then clicking on insert at the end of the text. So this is not the best editing tool I find. So what we can do instead is I can show you the sample layout that I have created. It has a header section right here and it contains a license plate barcode and a number. And it also has three fields in rows table, which will include sales order number, item ID and work quantity. As mentioned in Microsoft documentation right here, we can control a number of lines to be included on each label by setting a value in this parameter right here, rows per label. Right now in that sample, it's set to five, but what I want to do here is to generate a one label for each pick line. So if I'm picking, let's say three lines, I would want to generate three labels. To achieve that, I have changed that parameter from five to one. Only one line should be displayed on each label. That's, I think, the most important part of this solution right here. Once I have created this label layout, I copied it here in this text box. I will show you how I have configured my work template. So here's a sales order work template, and I want to make sure that it includes a print step because if you're doing receiving, you will control print label, yes, no decision based on the mobile device menu item. For the existing work, such as outbound picking work, we want to include the print step in our work template. And next I'll show you how I will use label layout LP test in our document routing. So let's navigate to document routing right here. Find document routing. You see that it filters to be used when the work template equals direct walking. That's the one we just used. And in document routing setup, what we need to do is select our printer. And this is a generic or virtual ZPL printer that I have configured. Again, there is a lot of documentation on how you can configure virtual ZPL printers on your machines for testing purposes. And then I needed to select one of those label layouts. So please keep in mind that only label layouts will show up here after we switch that parameter under warehouse management to use the label layouts instead of the standard document routing layouts. So what I'll show you next is how we can reprint a label for the existing work. 
will navigate to inquiries and click on license plate labels. Here I have a license plate label that I have generated in the past. What I'll show you here is how the warehouse work for that label looks like. Click on the work ID right here. This work header has four lines, two picks of two different items. First item is quantity five and the second quantity one. Then there is a print step as a third step and finally one put step. So before, if you have not used this label layouts, the system will just generate one license plate because there is only one target license plate that was generated right here on the top. So you would have only one label. Now, because we are using label layouts and we control the number of lines that will be included on each label, we expect to see one label for each pick line in this work ID. So let's test this. What I have here is my virtual printer. I will select my print label right here, print using setup. And here I would make sure that my label ID is correct, pick the mobile device worker, and then just click on print. Go back to our printer and let's wait for a few seconds. Here's the first and the second labels. So if we look at the first label, we see it has a license plate, sales order number, item number, and the quantity of five. And then we have a second label for a different sales order number, different item, and different quantity, but the same license plate because two of our picks were combined into a single target license plate. That is all I wanted to show to you today. I hope you found this video useful. Until the next time, take care.